Alan Nuckman of Agora Financial joins us now for the Trader Rundown, and it's time to shine for the earnings. Corporate earnings coming in this week, starting with the big banks. Finally, fundamentals. So right. we've got the banks. The banks are all looking really strong. So we've got we've got Citi, J.P. Morgan, uh, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America are all up near their top. So let's see if they can get some uh, catalyst from these numbers. We'll have to see. But you know, we've been in this game before, uh, and their expectations for the quarter are negative two percent earnings growth. So that would be four consecutive quarters of negative earnings growth so that hasn't happened since 2015 2016 but but we're in a bull market and we're still at all-time highs well that was my next question so I guess the market mean? doesn't care then the market doesn't care and with a low a low hurdle uh, low bar to hurdle I think uh, stocks can do what they've done every quarter where they've exceeded expectations what is going on with this market it's just up up and away there's no choice for, for uh, yield right now. People have to go into the stock market. Treasuries are low and they're going lower. So, you know, people are continuing. They're accustomed to who adding money to the stock market on a regular basis in their retirement every month, every year. And that's what's fueling this market. Money has to go somewhere and stocks are where it's at. What's the so-called smart money doing? What's the industry talk? Well, obviously people are still going into the stock market. We had a huge run, but that doesn't mean we can't continue to go up uh, higher. We talked about repeatedly here the V recovery. We've seen a full V recovery in the NASDAQ, uh, meaning that losses that we had in 2018 on top of those old highs, that was the target. That still hasn't happened in the S&P. That's 3,500 in the S&P. So that's still some upside potential about six or seven percent away. So a lot of bullish indicators out there. It's awfully bullish and I've been bullish for a long time. Yes, you have. But the fact that everybody is so bullish, that maybe gives me something to think about. I don't think we're going to see any major pullbacks, but let's just be aware of how far we've come. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thank you. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.